from the position. Rojo de Gran Bretaña, Alilla Power. And Powell use her footwork with a former national dance champion, the athlete in red. She'll have to have some good footwork in this one. Because we know all about the skills of Sarah Chari. Tests of the protectors done. Dado working impeccably today. But who can put the work in in this one? Sarah Chari, of course, the fighter from Belgium in blue. Powell, understandably, she's coming forward, tries with those kicks in the clinch on the inside, the battle for distance, so key at this stage, good aggression from the young Brit. Great aggression, that, 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 that's her through the day, you can see here opposite stance, opposite styles, but Sarah is good with close stance, open stance, close fighting, uh, this will be an interesting match. Certainly will be interesting there. We saw some good blocking from Sarah Chari, stopping that head kick from flying on the board. Footwork again from Powell coming forward. She's putting on a bit of pressure here. For me, this was comfortable. I would agree. A knee block from the Belgian on the way through. But letting it flow. Wu Yu Ting. is well prepared for this fight you can see her blocks her aggression is on point zero zero after a minute usually sarah makes some points in, in the first minute of the round but this is good yeah, you mentioned it both relative newcomers but successful seniors and there's a successful shot on the inside from sarah chari turning the tactics against powell powering one in and things like that you don't expect from the tall fighters 
just to make some points from the small distance and clinch fight, but you can see her her kick from the inside is strange. It's not it's not you know how we, the rest of the people is doing it, but obviously it scores like two times in a row for four zero. As you say, cramming in those one meter ninety long legs, that tall frame, jumping front kick there, attempted by Powell. Reminiscent of a Mahama Cho effort there, but no success for a Brit. Good punch by way of response by Chari. She's responded well here. The footwork at the start from the young Brit, but the Belgian, Sana Chari, good value for this. And as you said, wasn't the head kicks that were expected. A little bit of a surprise. Short range, sharp shots. And making short work of it. The Belgian, one up. And for Pau, some work to do, something, because she started well, good footwork, good control, but a little bit caught on yeah, the short distance. She started good first, her, I think her left hand needs to be down when she's in clinch fight, because Sarah made two points in like 30 seconds before zero, before zero, and that was enough. Well, I was good with the blocks, she didn't give her opportunity to score with push kick or head kick, but this is... Like I said, Tara is good from the clean fight also. That's unexpected for her tall fighter. Yeah, as you see, clutching those shots. Some good little replays for us here. Strange, strange shot to the body. <laughs> yeah, stranger things than Fiction manages to write a little shot on the board, puts one in her pocket. Then Aliyah Powell responds. Leonardo Gambo here giving out the instructions by way of Argentina, now with Belgium. Aggression, the watchword. Who's going to have the opportunity to get into the women's under 62 kilogram final? I'm enjoying this already. I hope you are. I'm enjoying it all day. And all day into the evening we are. This time it's Sarah Chari using that front leg just to cut the back leg turn and kick. No lights on the board though, and it scores for Powell. Nice timing, really nice timing. When, when Sarah uh, finished with her kick, Alaya then started with it. Wow, that was nice. Again, in the same moment, she did uh, the opposite kick, but 5 0, perfect. Perfect start, as you say, for Powell. The precision of that perfect head kick. That's the gam jump, of course, for falling over. If you do get five gam jumps, you lose the round. But nowhere near that territory just yet. Sarachari takes a punch, tries to look for that short kick in the inside, not far from the head. Sarah is going strong now, but I think Alaya knows her tactics after the first round. She's just a lovely sidestep again. We mentioned the dancing feet there of Paul. She's got that balletic talent. Of course, that's the presence of mind to be smart in that distance. Chari, though, with the head kick, not far off. Not far off, but on the same side now, Alaya blocked the first kick, and she didn't give her the opportunity for the drop kick from the inside, so still 5-1. to one. The front leg hook kick, not a million miles away. No sign of the coach playing the card. Powell adjusts the head guard, as you see. He gets away with one. This was strong minute and a half. They fought all the time. I think now they're a little bit tired, especially Alaya, but she needs to continue strong. This is her round five to one, and she has 30 more seconds. As I mentioned the importance of conditioning. The Great Britain team training with her altitude chamber. She's going to need all of that strength down the stretch here. The stamina, sapping efforts, because Chari, a nod to the coach, she knows she has to come forward. She's trying, but without the game plan. Alaya is a smart fighter, you, you cannot score, you know, just putting some random kicks in the air. There's one almost to the face there, but putting the points on the board, as you said, nothing random about the work of Powell, but she's pretty a price there, that's a, an energy sapping one. Well, Sarah kicked for two minutes straight, it was hard for both of the fighters, but I think Sarah is, is maybe in some little bit better shape. But third round, everything can happen. Alaya was perfect in the second round with her tactics. You can see that when Sarah Chari finished her kick and her leg is going down, that's the best moment to kick. And in these two moments, she made 5-0 and that was enough for this round. All right. Great analysis there, Melissa Juricic. The longer-legged fighter as they drop that space appears and Powell 
finish with a flourish. Good head kick. And it's one all. Tora and Mazar were there. Final instructions. And this one for a spot in the final. We've seen the momentum, we've seen the pendulum swinging back and forward. Here we go now, third and the fight, decisive final round. I think this will be decisive on the fitness level because we can see Sarah has conditions to, to kick for two minutes. Maybe it's without a game plan, but if you're tired, then <laughs> she can make a point. That's a great point that you've made as well as Aliyah Powell tries that same back leg turn and kick, takes a low push to the body or to the leg, in fact. Punch coming in on the inside. There's a little flick short there. Nice kick from the inside. Really short, but it's course. Of course, with the new rules, as long as you're not throwing that with a clinch, you're fine. Clinching a two-point lead, though. Nice back leg turn and kick. A little bit old school style. Love to see the old school. Nice little fake and intimidation, but as you can see, both breathing heavily here into the clinch. They go not far off. Oh, I think no gumption. Yeah, I would agree with you. Ryu Tu Ying, they both kind of fell over each other's feet. Gamjong perhaps for Sarah Chari for stepping out. Powell though fell over the leg of the Belgian. So that could be useful. Three up now for Powell. Push her out, but nothing for now. Change of tactics there. Good pushing on the inside. This is, you know, <laughs> for me, come from the, with folding and everything. Yeah. <laughs> One minute left more. This will be interesting. I certainly will. And you mentioned the battle for fitness. The salvation of the clinch sought there by Pearl. She'll only get one second, though. Wu Yu Ting separates them. The old fix the shin guard, catch your breath move. <laughs> yeah. Both needing it down Maybe the stretch. Yeah, we will see some card just, yeah. just for them to, to, to give some air now. Wow, to push three kicks in, in like 10 seconds for 4 0. This will be hard now for Alaya. If she doesn't get fitness level. Can she find the punch? Tries it. Not much steam on it though. A look of resignation. Last 30 seconds. Both fighters giving it absolutely everything here. World Championship final at stake. Whoever wins this round is through. So the marginal advantage now, Alaya Powell down the stretch, we've gone for the last 10 seconds, Sarah Chari firing forward, you mentioned that she wouldn't go away, good cover to the back of the head there from Powell, sees the head kick coming, can she see herself into a world championship final, the gang jump will make a little difference, coach doesn't play any card, off we go again. Back leg, turning kick to the head though. Will it be the card this time? It will indeed. Yes. What do you think? I think there was contact from this perspective. Me too. And for you? <laughs> Me too, but I didn't want to say first one. <laughs> That's why I asked. And this is what the conversation will be about. Leonardo throwing in the card. Who you think will have that conversation? Three seconds left. Oh, see Sarah Chani just taking a little rest there. They need some rest now. For me, this is perfect. I think so. Clear chop kick over the shoulder. Connects to the shoulder and to the head. I think this will be 7-6 for Sarah Chani. 7-6 it is. There are three seconds left. So Powell, if she scores, she'll make it through, you would imagine. It's incumbent upon Sarah Chari now. One last bit of defensive work. She's been all attack so far. She's put herself into touching distance of the World Championship final. Can she make it through? That will push. help her. And that will close it out. Finishing with a flourish. Alaya Powell gave it all she had. It will be bronze for Britain. But you called it the newcomer. And she's into the final. Absolutely newcomer. You saw second and third round. She didn't stop. You can see she has conditions, she has techniques, obviously. <laughs> she has fitness level and she has, you know, first power of will. She wanted to be 